crazy thing is, that's actually a good price now. but it's actually chicken and cinnamon battered biscuits. So, look at this. That looks delicious. Let's try. Look at that, the biscuits are so fluffy. But yep, they look like pancakes. Can somebody tell me why Mickey Mouse and the cookie monster have been sacrificed here on Haywood. It's disturbing. You can drink, shop, and get married all in the same store. I guess all of this is Fleetwoods, huh? This is probably my favorite piece on Haywood. Honestly, I'm surprised somebody hasn't tagged it already or something like that. Seems to be pretty common. It's a shame though that someone had to add their own graffiti to it. <laughs> yeah, and this part of Haywood's got something for everybody. They got toy stores and uh, hippie shops, breweries all down through here. This is a really cool shop. You could eat at a restaurant every day and eat somewhere different. Now, Biscuit Head is a great place to eat here on Haywood. I am waiting in line. We are gonna get a country ham biscuit with fried green tomato and eggs and red eyed gravy when I get there. So biscuit places are pretty popular here in Asheville. And the way it kind of works is it's first come first serve. You can't really make a reservation or anything like that. Once you get in the line, you have to walk up to the counter, and if there's no tables available, the line kind of stops. No buzzers or anything like that. Just wait. What'd you get? Sausage and biscuit and gravy. We got the country ham biscuit with fried green tomato and a little pot of red eye gravy. I don't dig tomatoes, but you know, I won't mess it up. I'll try it. That's what everybody says to get, and it comes with red-eye gravy, which I grew up on. I love it. So the way we made red-eye gravy when I was a kid, country ham grease, strong coffee. Good stuff. You can't even taste the fried tomato on it. It's scruffy enough to be charming, but a lot of people still worried about the crime in this area especially business owners i know since we've been here my google feed just tells me about all the crime that you got going on like the oyster house had 15 dozen eggs stolen it's all fleetwoods earlier their window got busted out so this is westfield pub that's been broken into it had two cash registers stolen so this convenience store has been broken into three times this year business owners say there's not enough police presence in the area staff shortages but then you walk past shops that say defund Asheville PD. Talked <laughs> about the crime and the break-ins and I don't know, the homeless, but it's a really awesome place. We've never felt unsafe and I wouldn't let that deter you from visiting. I think it's definitely worth it. I love it here. I'm not trying to dog it in any way. I like Haywood. But uh, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, we're the Asheville Sandwich Company. We have walked by here so many times and the smells coming from here are just amazing. So it's now or never, so I got a hot Philly cheesesteak. That is delicious. This will keep me fueled through the River Arts District. So we're at New Belgium Brewery. Have us a cold beverage before we tour the River Arts District. All that walking on Haywood got me thirsty. New Belgium Brewery is humongous. That's what all this is behind me. They had a nice little shop on the inside, beer garden. Definitely a stop 
if you're gonna go see the River Arts District, which we're on our way. We're gonna walk down through here, get some shots of the graffiti, show you around a little bit, probably take you into some artist studios, and it's all within walking distance of our Airbnb right off Haywood. Uh, yeah, here it is. So I drove past the spot a couple of days ago. I wanted to come back and make sure I filmed it because this is really, to me, what the River Arts District is all about. It's all the street art, all the graffiti. They really own it. And then, you know, they have all the art studios too. Like, I don't know, a hundred maybe. And most of them are open to where you can go in and check it out and talk to the artist. Buy a $10,000 painting if that's your thing. Like, it's so interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it in my life. Just the graffiti is everywhere. Some of it looks really good. Some of it, you know, is just tags, but definitely makes this area unique. I like this building right here. I think it's Homer Simpson or the donut or Bender still in the donut. I don't know, it's cool. You can see though, that some of this graffiti is starting to age as you go by. They're gonna have to get some artists out here and fix some of it up because it looks pretty bad. Like, I guess it just doesn't stick to the concrete very long or something. I like how specific this sign is. Wow, look at all of that. Damn, I bet people had a ball out here painting that. district there are these signs that point to open artist studios some of the studios are real small and some of them are huge and open into one after another it's really cool I'm not usually the one who acts out all those crazy little things we all kind of dream about right here one or a few on there man did you see me though cause the short foot on the show I'm dancing on the tables and I must say I got a taste for a lip and I'm, I'm glancing at the haters and I know they wish they did the shit I did tonight you wanna break some things alright all of the cups are out of sight you wanna drink had just normal trinkets, you know, something you would buy on vacation. And then we went into uh, art studios and they had stuff up to 2,500. Okay, that seems a little pricey. But then you keep going and you go into the studios that are priced at 10 to $20,000 for their paintings. It was wild. This gas station has been, this gas station, this convenience store has been broken into three times this year. There we go, we finally got it right. It's not a gas station. Yeah, but what kind of gravy? Sausage and gravy, duh. I should work in a brewery. I could be like Peter Griffin with a beard. I'm gonna go and decorate my van. Yeah, I don't need streets. I'm a pretty lazy biker. I like this shit to be flat, or I'm gonna die going uphill. I guess I've never been in a tattoo shop. That You've would never sense. been in a tattoo parlor? No, I've never oh. seen anyone get a tattoo. I'm so glad we stayed here. I'm glad we got to explore it. 